further south if you want to have peaches. Yeah, I know. I just. So are, are we filming? Yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is Sherpa. Sherpa Al, the hiker's pal. <laughs> That's awesome. He's taking us to, where are we going? To, to, to We're going Stacoa to Stacoa Gap. Yep. Yay. So that you could have a, a dinner up on Cheryl Ball. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hopefully it warms up a little bit more. <laughs> Yes, thank you so I, much. I will, I will text you. Thank you. All right, starting out here at Stacoa Gap. Got five and a half miles to Chia Bald, where we'll start the Bartram Trail. Good morning. I am starting out this morning on the Appalachian Trail, headed towards. Chihuahua Bald to start on the Bartram Trail. I'm doing a through hike of the Bartram Trail. Um, and I'm out here right now. Well, she's went on ahead, but my friend Marcy's is out here and she's gonna be, do about half the trail with me. And I'll do the other half by myself. So I'll be out here for about 10 days. Get started this morning. Um, super nice gentleman named Sherpa dropped us off. And I'm out of breath right now because I've just started hiking and I'm going uphill. So, which would be good because I'm a little chilly right now. But I know I'm going to warm up as I keep hiking up. But I am so excited to be back on the trail again. To be spending some time in the woods. I have missed it so much. This is awesome. And I'm just really looking forward to this over the next 10 days. And uh, it's kind of awesome to be on the AT right now. Just bringing back memories from 2020 and seeing the other through hikers out and ah, uh, it just really brings back so much and uh, makes me miss miss the trail, miss the AT a lot. But anyway, gonna get to hiking and warm up. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention was that I'm headed southbound. So starting at Chihuahua Bald, hiking to Russell Bridge on the Barsham Trail. A little bit of snow hanging on. I made it to the sign and behind me, that's the Bartram Trail right there with the yellow blaze, but I gotta go up to the summit to start the hike and then hike back here. I made it to Chio Evald. It's, it's probably the least desirable thing mm -hmm. I like to do because it's just, you have to find the perfect way to start tossing it. Another five, five miles. Oh, I know. <laughs> there is the junction sign. I've made it back here. So now I'm leaving the AT and headed on to the Bartram. All right, we're going to start on this Bartram trail and actually get some Bartram miles in. Got a little snow hanging on here. Hopefully this is the last of it. I'm ready for some warm weather. So of course I'm going southbound. So it's a pretty steep descent, but if you're coming northbound, it's a steep ascent as well. But there's a nice water source here along the trail. I'm coming down to this road here. This looks like I go that direction. Kind 
come to my first creek crossing and there's a bridge. Yay. It's a nice bridge too. Another bridge. There's another bridge up there too. No bridge at this crossing, but there's a little log. It says it's not too wide of a creek, so that's good. Got a big up blow down here. I just crossed over that. Another water source. And then if you turn, looking forward, looks like the trail goes that way. Well, this is a much larger creek. Oh man. It's kind of wet through here. So I just came down all that. So this section is pretty rocky and um, um, a lot of water. So this is what mid March. Uh, and this is looking ahead. Another creek crossing. It looks like some pieces, some old relics or something over there. Campsite right there. Maybe. Looks like it. Alright, so that camping area is Ledbetter Creek campsite, or at least according to uh, the Gaia. So on the Gaia app, um, I downloaded this GPX file from this YouTuber who did this trail. Uh, he's unfettered, unfettered footsteps. And it shows like two mile, like a mile and a half ahead a better camping area. Which I think is where Marcy went. And it shows water fairly close before I get there. So I think I'm going to wait. My feet are killing me right now. But I know it's just because. You know I'm just not used to carrying this pack. <laughs> ah, there's been a lot of. It's been kind of pretty rocky. And a lot of crossings too. So. Looks like I'm gonna need to afford this one. Yep. All right, if I end up with a bruise, right here is this tree's fault. Blame this tree. And file charges. Contact the police. It punched me right in the nose. <laughs> oh, there's so many trees. Look, here's some more. That's so cool looking. The terrain has infinitely improved. I hope it stays that way. I hope I'm not jinxing myself. <laughs> no, it's starting to get dark. And this is our campsite. It's pretty cool. It's right near the water. And then here's where it just came from. Nice bridge, nice water source. So yeah, really nice. All right, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat my food. Try to finish setting everything up.
All right, I wanna to try to show you all my dinner. This is the chili that I made. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It actually looks like it, um, it looks like it rehydrated pretty good. Even the tur even the ground turkey. So I'm gonna taste this and see how good it is. Oops. It's good. It's so good. All right, I am super tired. <laughs> it was a hard day today. Just uh, really steep downs and uh, a lot of water crossings and a lot of rocks and stuff. So, and my shoes were kind of hitting in the front of my feet. So, anyway, um, it was just, it was rough for <laughs> the fact I haven't really backpacked in like six months. But anyway. So I'm super tired. I've had my dinner. It was delicious. So we're going to turn in, say goodnight, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.